Gang, the last chance to see the Are You Garbage live show is upon us. It's a mix of stand-up comedy, plus we play the little AYG with the crowd. Yeah, the last shows of the year are December 14th in Washington, D.C. At the Howard Theater. Get the homies, Let's get the go. bozers. Let's see you there. Then we're doing uh, two. One's already sold out in Philadelphia at the Fillmore. It's limited tickets left for the second show at the Fillmore. That will sell out. Let's get those tickets. Let's party, baby. Scoop them up. Love yous. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's our little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grew up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. The holiday spirit is in full swing. She's upstairs trimming the tree. Okay. With the manscaped. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Getting it tight for the mailman. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. Uh-huh. He's an international businessman, and he works in the wild, wild west. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are True to rip. cooking, baby. Then obviously the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage Gang. Check it out. It's a freaking party over there. Yes, sir. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, mm-hmm. the old magic man. Works the ones and twos, the threes and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What, what up, do you T-Bone? say, pal? I'm trying to get into a mosh pit. We got the best dude in the world in here, man. One of my favorite guys. Oh, all time guy. All time dude, it makes you makes you want to get rowdy and have a nice time. Had man. to bring him back quick to run it back. I know because I think we we barely, I think we got to age seven before, with <laughs> and that took ninety minutes. So far, we have uh, we have parents married young, quick uh-huh. divorce. We have a step wedding next door to where you live. Shout out to Susan. Susan's house. I have no problem with Susan. <laughs> Baltimore vacations. Uh-huh. You know, can I tell you? Because I'm sure I didn't talk. <laughs> Susan's house also. She, uh, one time my mom was hanging out with Susan and up in her, she goes, to go, go watch TV up in her bedroom. And, uh, the movie, there's a Cinderella movie, um, that was on Cinemax. That was like a soft core. <laughs> okay. I'm listening. But yeah. about a snapping, I believe. <laughs> okay. Snapped and she had to find the one guy who like fit it or whatever. Uh. And, uh, I think it was one of my first, uh, I don't think I finished. I think I was too young, but definitely like you slapped it. it around a little bit <laughs> yeah. up in that room, hoping nobody was coming. Kicked the tires a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little young for anything to come out, but I mean, if we're uh, counting ghost loads. <laughs> GLs. <laughs> Gang, we're so excited to have our uh-huh. incredibly special guest back with us again. As we said, he has an amazing special out dog belly that you got to check out. Creeping on 2 million views Wee! over there on YouTube. He's the host of Legion of Skanks, the host of SDR, and the host of The Bonfire, and the only guest to ever use the word stool pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for the one, the only, Big J Okerson, everybody. Yeah. You know, it's funny, as you described the show, we bring in your favorite comics to find out if they were... Uh, Grown up to be classy mm-hmm. or garbage. Is this the first time you're bringing me back just to find out <laughs> how <laughs> garbage? Like it's sure. already. Yeah. We've confirmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm garbage. Now how we're just far do we go down? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. digging for more. Yeah, this, I, is, this is more of a sentencing. <laughs> I, I got to tell you what, and this is why it's such a great show. There's n- almost no decision I make in my life that I have to think about for two seconds. Where I don't go, it goes. Is this no <laughs> evidence? Yeah. Uh, I was in. I, was I love in, how we're just in the back of your head at all times. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I still usually go through with it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Of I, course, you don't know any different. I went to uh, Philly. Mm-hmm. Go birds. Uh, uh, two weekends ago to do uh, the casino out there, mm-hmm. and on the way home, I stopped by a store to get. My dog, a Joel Embiid jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and seven. I mean. Easily 17 lighters okay. that all have like sixers on them sure, or eagles because yeah, you can yeah. never get those up sure. here at all. Oh, so I get a, I get my year's worth of <laughs> eagles and sixers. Dude, dude, if you're buying I get a pink one for the lady. Of- <laughs> it's a pink one that the lady has. I go, well, you put this in your purse. <laughs> dude, anybody buying lighters in bulk. That's yikes. nuts. The lady couldn't believe it because she has to scan. She had to turn them all on their backs. Uh-huh. I just like, you know, poured them out of my shirt. <laughs> and she had to turn them all on their backs and like go through. And I'm like, Miss, just count them and do one a bunch. <laughs> Bet you don't get this many rich guys coming through here, huh, lady? <laughs> Big like, spenders coming How much in. is that replica house? I mean, if I had a house, that's the date. Thank God I have an apartment still. Because if I had a house, 
like the amount of unnecessary trashy memorabilia not really like emotional to me memorabilia mm-hmm. but i'll have it up anyway my mom for my parents don't get me for christmas ever mm-hmm. they never know but the stuff they do get is great <laughs> i've gotten a carson wentz picture book <laughs> okay <laughs> i have hanging in my closet because there's no more room on the walls uh an autographed framed picture of brandon graham sacking Tom Brady is oh, Super Bowl. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you have it up like it's, it's supposed a to be. Thing. It's supposed to be hanging up like in a sports memorabilia <laughs> sure. store. No one yeah, ever buys no it. No one buys that. Only yeah, the kid of the owner of that store gets that eventually. Yeah, the full size cut out of Doug Peterson <laughs> <laughs> in a Jaguars jersey. Oh, if I had a no house with it. like a marble entrance, it would be the Rocky <laughs> statue and the statue of uh, of Nick Foles and Doug oh, Peterson giving the Philly Philly man. call. That would be in my foyer <laughs> right before the grand staircase. <laughs> Pay your respects to Philly <laughs> heroes. Do great. It, there's something so funny uh, about how Bill f- Burr yelling at a crowd. <laughs> yeah. in, a, in bronze. <laughs> there's something so funny about framing a defensive play. Like, that's just <laughs> your, <laughs> this is your uncle going defense wins championships. <laughs> well, the famous one, my brother got it autographed when we were kids, is Chuck Betternack taking out uh, Gifford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, like, broke his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, I when I went on Ron and Fez, uh, the old radio show Ron and Fez, the first time, uh, I won some thing from their prize closet, and it was a <laughs> a poster of that moment of Chuck Bednarik knocking Gifford out. Yeah, <laughs> Concrete Charlie, his hands were all yeah. broken. <laughs> Dude, nuts. Different breed back then. But- oh, that's yeah. That's when your white guys were gigantic white guys. <laughs> yeah. and and no one even was it wasn't even defensive to go. That big Pollock's coming through the line. <laughs> Clubbing you. Oh, man. I'm doing you up. No defi- always, always had those big cast on, too. Oh, yeah, no yeah. definition at all. <laughs> Just fucking dad bods, but like enormous dad bods. Cigar yeah. hanging out of the helmet. <laughs> yeah, fucking white guys built like Tongans. <laughs> so when we last left you, yeah. uh, you were driving hookers. Yeah. Which is where we were at. Yep. And slowly, <laughs> and slowly falling in love. Oh, with the first girl I drove, yeah. Yeah, Candace. Because you wear your heart on your sleeve. You're a bit of an emotional man. Did I tell man. you, though, that when I drove her years later, like two years later? I think you might have, yeah. Yeah, like the drugs got her. Ooh. So she came out, and she was like, I drove her and another girl, and she was like the joke of the party. Uh. And I felt a weird ownership over her still. Hey, like, knock uh, that off. I mean, literally, they were like, they're like, yo, why is that girl so pasty and her asshole so brown? I'm like, look, while you're not wrong, I know her potential. She can get it back, dude. You don't, you don't know her like I know her. You should have saw her two weeks ago. And it was just some hot Asian. Did I tell you the stripper story when I drove? How long did you do this for? On and off, like a year and a half, two years. year and a half, two years. Well, you, you weren't doing comedy yet. No, I was doing comedy, and that's what I was like an easy way to make. I wasn't doing comedy on the weekends. When you first start, you're doing like Tuesday, right, right, Tuesdays, Tuesdays, right. and Wednesdays, yeah. and Thursdays are your open mic nights, uh, different places. And um, so on the weekend, I had nothing going. If I wasn't going to, like, one of the nights I would go to the Laugh House to watch mm-hmm. like whoever the headliner sure. was. Sure, because you can go for free at that point. Sit in the back. Yeah, and then uh, and one of the other days or two of the days I would any days I was off, I would take like this job driving escorts and strippers. Escorts is easier because they go and, like, the, the guys are getting what they want. Sure. Generally. It doesn't always go great. Mm-hmm. But I've driven uh, – I was so not prepared for the job. So the guy asked me if I had a gun. I was like, no. <laughs> He's like, do you want one? I was like, no. <laughs> I'll pull that out way early. <laughs> it's so scary when they start, like, turning on you. What do you mean she doesn't fuck? Like, okay, fellas. <laughs> All right. Your move is to put it to your own head. I'll do it. I swear to God. No, I used I'll to go. ruin your floors. I used to go. We have your credit card. We have your credit card. We have your credit card. And they'd be like, "All right, man, but we really thought she was gonna fuck." I go, <laughs> "She's not. This one's actually putting herself through college." Um, but the uh, one time I drove, what ended up being, they, they go uh, and they said the guy was always he never cared like how dangerous it sounded. He goes, "Meet us at this liquor store because you'll never find it." And they a, a white van pulls up next to me, my buddy Glenn. She brought uh, back up with you? Always. Well, I told him, I always told him too, I go, buddy, I'm not bringing you to like be a hero with me if this goes bad. <laughs> Stand near the door. And if it starts going haywire anyway, get help. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like get out and get help. This is like everyone didn't you have a, a cell runner. phone then. 
And uh, yeah, runner was the same size as me, by the way. <laughs> He's at the end of the block with an inhaler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay! <laughs> Anybody got up, Uterol? It's going bad. <laughs> What's going bad? I need my I'm nebulizer. <laughs> Nebulizer sounds like I'm smart. My parents are respiratory therapists. Uh, I grew up with a nebulizer. <laughs> so, get a um, treatment. They meet us at the thing. A white van pulls up, and out of it get guys who are, uh, they're a biker gang, clearly. Mm -hmm. But the one guy's standing, like, I just see his like dick and belt buckle in my window. He's like, follow us. The belt buckle says Warlocks. Do you remember the Warlocks? The yeah. Warlocks are like South Jersey yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, biker gang. <laughs> I only need the name because my uh, ex-girlfriend, <laughs> my ex-girlfriend, who was trash, <laughs> Uh, lived in a trailer. She uh, like she would always say her uncle was in the Warlocks. You know, whatever. Yeah, but I didn't. I guess they were a real thing. And they go follow us easily uh, a half a mile between a half mile and a mile down a like dirt road to a cabin in the woods of somewhere in South Jersey. Uh, Dude, I would have turned around. You're crazy. It's not worth it. It's yeah. What are you making a shift? Oh, dude, it was crazy. fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. You're nuts. And then, uh, and then, uh, does that include and gas they, and tolls? Yeah, the girls tip. They're supposed to tip you. Ah, right. And they did, but uh, I also stole their money often. Like it would be like this gentlemen. <laughs> no, they didn't tip good for what it was. So I would definitely do a little like ten for them, one for me. So they would. So they, them, you would get paid. They would pay you. I got paid fifty dollars for the drive. No, but I'm saying that the, they're supposed to tip you out later. But they would be like. Here's ten bucks, which I get it. They're fucking strippers. They need their money for drugs or their kids or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, in that order, yeah, I'm those saying those the clients. Those would, are the only two options. The clients would give you the money, not pay the girls. That's yes. how. How were you able to? Grease oh yeah, it? yeah, yeah. That well, or, or it was on credit card or something already. Okay, whatever. What they would tell me that, and then I'd go in there and either collect the rest of the money from the guy, uh -huh. try to give to him. I'd get my fifty-five bucks, I think it was. Right. And Jesus then uh, the girls Christ. would make whatever they make, and then tip me. <laughs> It was such a if weird there's thing. a world where you don't do comedy, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh, dude, I mean, I always say working at a gas station, but I'd like to think, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think I'd be like, uh, I probably would have done what my parents did, but I really was so bad at school and didn't like it at all. Uh -huh. But it probably would have taken me forever to get like a two-year degree sure. and just work odd job. I don't know. I was never, like comedy was the only thing I was ever like, where I was like, I'm putting effort into, you know what I mean? Like, sure. I'm, I'm going, the same, to, I'm the same way, I'm yeah. going to do this thing, and it's only for twenty five bucks, but it's a two and a half hour drive. But I have to do this yeah. for this reason. Driving with some weird headliner or something. Yeah. So we, <coughs> I drove down this dirt road to this cab, and we go in there. It's a, it's a bachelor party, I guess, but it's like all bikers. And when I go like in the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, there's like, there's like guns on the bed, like. People put their jackets when they show sure. up to a party. Check your weapons. Wild. Yeah. And then everyone's being nice. Bunch though. of leather vests and shotguns. Everyone's being nice though. And then uh and then all of a sudden like a lady, like the girls are in the bathroom changing into their stripper shit. And a, a woman comes out of a bedroom, like a fat lady in a robe. <laughs> And she's like, what? Like, like there's, it's a party. <laughs> and it's everything you think it's going to be, like loud credence playing. <laughs> sure. Pop, no, hey, I did the cheat. And they're but loud. A woman comes out, like, she's like, <laughs> someone just tiptoed into her creaky floor. She's like, <laughs> what? What's going on out here? And the, there's one guy who looks like uh, Sam Elliott in Mask. <laughs> he's like, get the fuck back in the room. You know, you know he's yelling at her. She's arguing with him, and then she goes over to go to the bathroom and knocks on the door. And I'll tell you what, what the senses that I, everything's tingling on me where I'm like, this is all so bad and scary, and we're not prepared for this. They've got an arsenal on a bed. Glenn? They've got an arsenal on a bed, of which, by the way, especially Glenn, at that Glenn's point. Glenn's halfway down the driveway. I mean, dude, you brought a guy named I Glenn. Glenn I don't think Glenn felt it either. <laughs> Glenn was a tough dude. Uh, was, but I, just, I don't know if he felt uh, I think he was kind of like Oh I'm coming along for the This is cool I was already over The girls get naked uh -huh. Not that you wouldn't peek The first time you drove them But at this point I was always new I'm like This is like, scary as shit For 50 <laughs> bucks man <laughs> well, was, Were you paying Glenn? I'd give him like 20 bucks To yeah. like yeah come hang Man and uh, So you're 35 All said and done Oh yeah 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 Plus then you gotta fill up the car You and got tips and shit Yeah <laughs> It was not worth the money. <laughs> it's, a, it's a passion project. So, <laughs> so I drive. Uh, these girls are in the bathroom, and the girl tries to go into the bathroom. The robe lady tries to go in the bathroom, and uh, you know she's like, "Who's in there? I have to get in the bathroom." 
Strippers don't get there. They also don't feel the danger of this. And they're like, bitch, we're in here. Fuck off. We're trying to, you fucking bitch. She's like, fuck you. She's trying to kick the door in. Jesus. And then uh, the main guy, the Sam Elliott guy, gets up and almost arm grabs her and like shoves her back into the bedroom she was in. He's like, get the fuck in there. Then a skinny guy who looks like George Thorogood <laughs> uh, comes out in tidy whities. He's like, <laughs> you been with my old lady or whatever. And then. The Sam Elliott guy and him, I mean, lock it up and go through the door of the bedroom and they're, you just hear fight happening. I'm looking at everybody else and they're like, they're brothers, man. Just let them fucking sort it out. Jesus. Then you hear the fight stop and the, uh, the guy in his underwear comes hauling ass out of that bedroom and runs through the screen of the deck. Like, I mean, through the double door, like bust through the screen and jumps over the deck railing and runs off into the woods. <laughs> Sam Elliott comes out cocking a gun, goes on the deck and fires three into the <laughs> night air. The brother never came back. I don't think he uh, hit him, but like he just decided to stay. So I'm just going to hang in the woods in my tidy way so this <laughs> dies yeah. down a little He's bit. He's also got no pants on. <laughs> never came back. The wife just stayed in the room the rest of the time. I guess the, the, the old lady in the uh, robe. But, and this guy's like, all right, let's get this party going. It's enough. You slowly, you slowly reach over and push play on the boombox, <laughs> try to break the yeah, yeah. Everybody's free to feel. You guys feeling good out there tonight? So who's the lucky fella? <laughs> so the girls come out and do their fucking double dildo fucking show. No one says anything. The guys were actually during the whole show like peachy. They were very, and I thought it was like a good thing. I'm like, I'm like, this actually ended up being kind of. Let's turn it around. If you're not the guy's brother, everything right. seems to be going pretty Lady good. Lady in the robe starts making sandwiches, and then the girls, the girls, the uh, girls go into the bathroom to change back into their clothes, and I think these guys are all being like pretty nice enough. Hey, you want a beer, dude? You know, get whatever. And I'm like, yeah. my friend Glenn. Again, I don't know if he heard them joking. <laughs> I feel like it's the how nice they were. You heard joking, but the panic that it, it turned in me. He comes over. He goes, "Dude, I heard these guys talking outside. They're saying like, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna fuck these these bitches or something?'" And I went over to knock on the door. I'm like, "Girls, girls, 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 girls." And then, I mean, we. It looked so funny, like people escaping, people that aren't trying to stop you. I was like, "Sorry, guys, we gotta go." And the girls were like, "We're not dressed." I go, "Get in the fuck, get changed in the car. We gotta go. We got And then the guys were like, "All right, man, you guys taking off like that? I'm like, we gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, man. Bye." But we got oh, at eight o'clock. We got one get part there. I forgot about that was when we got in there and I saw the the guns and everything. I call. I go, hey, can I use your phone to call uh, my boss? Gotta let him know we're here. He goes, yeah. And I call him and I go, hey man. <laughs> and he goes, are they cool? He goes, they're a biker gang, aren't they? And I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> and he's like, Is he goes, cool. everything all good? I go, not really, man. <laughs> And he goes, what, are there guns and stuff? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, well, I mean, they seem nice enough on the phone. Are they pointing them at you? And I was like, no, nah, yet, yeah, no. And he was like, yeah, you'll be fine, man. They already paid, so you're, you're already- good. And he just hung up the phone, and it just put me through that whole thing. Kim, how about that liquid IV? Shout out the liquid IVizzle. Woo, gang, if you don't know, now you know. Get on that liquid IV. We're talking about hydration, gang. When you're out there doing your Christmas shopping or when you're at the holiday party, you're going to run yourself down. Stay hydrated with liquid IV. It hydrates you quicker than water. Mm-hmm. It's now available in sugar-free, which they just sent us, and I'm Let's sucking go. them back like cough medicine. Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients to keep you going. Uh, with just one stick mixed with water, you'll be hydrated two times faster than go. just water alone. I've been a big fan of this. It's great for, listen, I'm not working out. I'm not in the gym that much. It's great for hangovers. Let's cut the bull. I drink it. I chug one when I get home after a night of boozing. You wake up, you bada bing, bada boom. Next morning, another one. Whoo, you're sailing, baby. If you're sicky, take that. Fantastic. Yep. You can grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code garbage at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code garbage at liquidiv.com. Do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, but let's talk about Factor. Factor, Factor, Factor. We're big fans of Factor's ready-to-eat meals. You ain't lying. I believe America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Mm-hmm. That's Factor. Do yourself a favor. Get over there. Place your order. Throw it in the microwave. Ready in two minutes. Or if you want to be fancy like Kippy, you throw it on the skillet. Amen, baby. I love it. It's fantastic. I've been using it before. They, way before they were a sponsor. They're great. You just... 
two, two, three minutes, and you're done. You're eating like a king. Over I got there. two words for you: cauliflower risotto. Oh, baby. delish, fantastic. Uh, they got uh, vegan, vegetarian, keto, calorie sure. smart, protein plus meal options. No matter what your goals are, Factor can help you get there. It's fantastic. It takes all the guessing, the questions out of it. You go online, you can pop in what you want that week. Hey, give me two of these, three of these. I'm a big shredded chicken taco bowl guy. Mm-hmm. Give me 10 of them. If you're traveling, you pause it. You can re-up the next week because we're on the road. All It's it, it's easy peasy. They take all the guesswork. All, they take all the headaches out of it. So head to factormeals.com slash garbage50 and use the code garbage50 to get 50% off. Holy shit. That's code, gar- that's code garbage50 at factormeals.com slash garbage50 to get 50% off. Do it. So what was the first car? Your first personal car? I think this was a biggie in our area. Honda Accord hatchback. Yeah. There you go. That, that, one light, too. that light bluish, grayish. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody had that. Was it automatic or uh, stick? It was automatic. Okay. That was automatic. But I, I had did, a stick. I, I learned on stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know how to drive it. But like, yeah, that was an automatic. That one. thing was all right, man. Then, dude, it was all right. Any aftermarket stuff in there? A CD player, speakers. On that one, I think I just used the, like the regular, old, like the CD player with the cassette sure. that went like, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that, I think. But then, uh, when I got after that, that got stolen. Kurt Metzger got that stolen for me. <laughs> you sound like you did. You outside the Laugh House, he parked it in a uh, towaway zone. Ooh. And then we found that it wasn't towed; it was actually stolen. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then they found it. In uh, Camden, New Jersey, mm-hmm. ripped to shreds. Now the things that were in that car at the time were so funny. My first ever headshots, oh. which one was stabbed into the dashboard? <laughs> that sounded. Per- they go, "Do you want to see it?" I was like, "No, that sounds horrible." <laughs> do you want to see it? Yeah. Do you want to see it? I don't. I oh, man, imagine seeing a car and there's like a box of 300 Big J <laughs> original headshots. <laughs> <Stop playing. laughs> oh Is yeah, or I said, you know they, or you know they were trash. Or I, said, yeah. or I said a fucking joke book, and then so I see some like. Uh, some crackhead junkie on BT's comic view going, yo, being a fat white guy, crazy, right, y'all? Killing. K- murdering. D- d- did you have any of, like, the classic horrible head? Like, did you have, like, caution tape over your mouth or, like? You had, a, no, you had you one, had, I think, with a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, that was that was way too much later than that. <laughs> no, this was the headshots that were, like, uh, the one that I put on the T-shirt that's from the, uh, that they used for my special, like where I look like Elvis. It's pretty fucking funny. You could throw it up. I know the one where you're where you're looking straight and you have like a soul patch. Yep, that's yeah. that's the one. There it is. Yeah, that guy right there. Oh. I got a bunch of baddies, dude. Yeah, they asked me to do a. I just said yes to whatever they told me to pose like. Man, yeah. Uh, that's why I like candid shots now are much better. Sure, I'm the same way. <laughs> I can't pose for anything. Give me a candid shot. That's, that's a good a one. Off. Yeah, my real estate pose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this, I mean, you got the leather, you got the cig in the mouth, because mm-hmm. oh. you have to. In back in the day, headshots meant something, so you had to get your personality yep. through the headshot. And it Caution was like- tape would be great. I wish I would have had one of those. <laughs> Dude, there it is You're with the sledgehammer. Thing. Sledgehammer. Jägermeister shirt, sledgehammer over the neck. Yeah, I was feeling good at that point. I just got off tour with corn. That's a corn <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna God say that Jägermeister shirt you got for free for sure. Oh yeah, I think it may have said my name on it. <laughs> what was your first concert? What's the first concert you went to? Ever was uh, my mom took me to Westbury Music, not Westbury Music Fair, uh, Valley Forge okay. Music Fair to see uh, Sha Na Na, which I loved from the TV show. Mm-hmm. Did you she, tell us this before? Yeah, she wanted to fuck Chico. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Sha Na Na was a good show. Oh yeah, Bob the Bob, bang, yeah, bang, bang, Bowser, bang. yeah. It was, was like great. a variety show. You know, now you can either hire Sha Na Na. Or Bowser. Or Bowser. Uh, the two will not work they together. They won't work together. Huh. Heard Hall and Oates are having a rift these I was days, too. just going to say. I just watched that. Uh, I listened to it on Stern this morning over, like, publishing shit. Yeah. Now, when they're 75. Like a restraining shit. order and shit like that. And dicey. Dicey. Hmm. Guys can't stay, fr- no, can stay friends forever, I guess. And uh, what kind of car are you whipping in now? Uh, Grand Cherokee. There you go. Classy. Are you leasing that or do you own it? I did lease. You leased it. I did lease it only because uh, I leased too. Yeah, yeah. Love just, a lease. It's like if uh, I don't need it in New York very much, so I use sure. it for basically road gigs mm-hmm. and like two mile drives. Yeah. And you have it in a garage. Yeah. yeah. Garage in the building. On the street, does oh. it's, okay. but it's the building's garage basically. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Classy. See, that's what I'm talking it's about. Pretty classy. You got a nice place now. You got a nice apartment. Yeah. What kind of air freshener you got in that Jeep? Oh, I because I smoke. What I do is uh, I don't like the air freshener that sits in there all the time. They they die out or they never work anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I've learned 
What I used to use was I found out by accident in a hotel room and I had nothing else to spray. Jesus. Foot spray will the charcoal in it will get rid of any smell. What a dirt bag. So science forever. Out of you. Oh yeah. For whatever re- for whatever for the longest time in my cars I would always have Tenactin. Foot spray. Odor eaters. <laughs> oh, man. Or uh, or CVS's version of. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in a pinch. If, <laughs> but really shout out to them because that markup is crazy for the name brand. You're not wrong. It's the Woo! same stuff. But I'd spray it in the car. And then I started being like once we were parking in a garage, I started feeling like like what the fuck is this guy spraying foot spray? Now I'll tell you what works great. I'd love to say it's all bullshit. Febreze air. Febreze ain't yeah. bad. Febreze air. Yeah. I smoke uh, in my uh, spare bedroom. You often. do. Because one but, thing, but, but, if but you out the know... window, out the window, it's it's on the th- like twenty seventh floor. You're smoking in the apartment. If you don't dude? know about Big J, he likes a heater indoors wherever he is. No, no, no. I don't. I, I'll find it go outside if it's like not terribly cold outside. It's freezing, and the block I live on is the windiest block in New York City. So, like, going outside every time for a cigarette is a lot. So I'll go in my guest room and open the window and like smoke out the window. That's there. gotta. So you have like stuff there. In there. It, I'm gonna tell you something. I've asked this because I don't want that to be the case. Febreze air, dude. Right I don't away. No man. It's a smoke. <laughs> throw the butt out, which is important. I don't keep you the, launch the you you launch the butt so out the, the window. The gods are <laughs> lit. Like, yeah, twenty six floors. That thing's not making it fire all the way down. There's no chance. If that hits someone on the ground, they would <laughs> got burned. I'm like, come on. Is Yacht. that Big J up there? Yeah. <laughs> it could it could blow back and go in somebody's house or somebody's apartment. Well, that's what they were saying. How on the could cruise. I plan for that? <laughs> Well, by the way, on the cruise, I did that, by the way, a couple of times. I flicked it off the boat, and you'd see it. It would go <laughs> way out. I had mine go up. Then, yeah, it would come way out and then <laughs> yeah. come back. It was pretty fun. I, dude, I flicked one, and I saw it go up to like three stories. I was like, panicked. I was oh, scared. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they would come and get you. They would somehow know. Nah. You were ripping heaters How in there. How could they? Someone goes know. in there, the trajectory, they go. <laughs> uh, that was cabin 706. <laughs> Coast Guard pulls up. <laughs> pull you over. So they start smelling your balcony. <laughs> You're Jesus ripping you heaters in the apartment. Man. Rare. But, it's uh, rare? Yeah, yeah. All right. When do you have to have one in the morning? You have one in the first Wake thing? Wake up. I'll try. What I try to do is rip that quick shit in the morning. <laughs> but sometimes I'll go out that window and take a few puffs to get the ball rolling. <laughs> <laughs> but then I go outside and I make my phone calls and smoke sure. a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> I, chain, I, I chain a few. My, make my phone calls. I chain about three. Okay. On my on my daily phone calls, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then uh, and then go upstairs, and then try not to until I go to work again. Jesus, huh? And wh- are you showering at night? Or are you showering in the morning? I you like shower. to stay clean. You're a clean man. I'm a clean man, but I try to get all my poops out. Okay. And then go. So I go. We go to bonfire generally. Four o'clock. We have to head there. Okay. Pa- basically, whenever I have to leave to go do a thing, I try to shower an hour. Hour before and a half that. before that. Okay. Is everything still kind of geared towards the night? Like, what are you doing? Like, nine? what time are you waking up? Yeah, give me a time. You got nothing. It's you got bonfires. Ten o'clock. That's okay, not yeah. that's not bad. I think I sometimes earlier if I pop up, but like, you know, our schedules are all fucking whacked out from sure. flying and shit too. Sure. So I slept two hours the night before yesterday. You know. Uh, so you got to make that up somewhere. Yeah. Yes, today I woke up at like eleven something. Okay. So you get up at eleven. You're in the apartment. It's a weekday. You doing a breakfast? Sometimes, if Christine, my chick, goes and gets breakfast stuff. It's the we'll only guy I know my chick. <laughs> <laughs> Real warlock vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Christine, my chick. Yeah, he goes. I send that diggy brought out for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, Are you if cooking? she brings back, yeah, she'll, she'll make something for breakfast once in a while. Okay. Are you guys going to the grocery store on the regular on a regular basis? Or is most of your meals when you're here still takeout or delivery? It was takeout for a very long time. Uh, uh, neither of us cook a lot, and when we, it's just like the timing wise. so much. She works a ton too, you know. Sure. Right. So like, uh, we ordered out a lot. Now we're doing the factor meals. Shout Ooh, out to factor. Shout out we're to them. Factor. Are family. you yeah? I dude, I, I found them maybe two or three years ago. I started them uh, before I start, they were even a sponsor. Started, sponsored. Yeah, I started like uh, maybe six months ago. How many Great. you taken down? How many have you taken down? You oh, do we do too? we do dinner. Just no, dinner I'm saying, it, can you can you eat too? We'll eat multiple in a city. Oh, I could do that, but I think I'm try I'm doing trying. That. I'm doing the factor meal solely for the gotcha. Like it's contained in that little sure, thing. Sure, yeah, 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 they are good as shit though, man. They are good. The problem with any kind of thing like that, and I said we're, they're sponsored by us too. They're 
fucking delicious for what they are. That's what yeah. I'm saying. They're you really I mean? good. However, though, it is just a time where you're like, man, I'm really hungry. I don't know if I want a bunless beef <laughs> stroganoff <laughs> burger with... <laughs> You know, Fettuccine kale or shit like or whatever. It's just like uh, Toby cut this. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good no. people over there. Factor. I genuinely, no, when I'm blown away in two minute microwaving, how delicious it's it all, crazy. It all is. It's high quality. I'm just saying, it's like the choice is made. Even though you make the choice, yeah. I'm saying, but then I'm having a hard time. Like, you know, I have to really talk to myself to gotcha. be like, huh? Because I'm, I'm feeling Chinese food tonight, yeah. but I guess I'm gonna have asparagus risotto <laughs> yeah. with beef. Uh, Tri tip cubes mm, or yeah, something. Like, yeah, all right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, but when you eat it, it's always. But yeah, as a bigger guy, we, you know, all of us, we, you'd like to. Uh, it's kind of the allure of like, will I do Chinese? Will I do pizza? Yeah. Will I get a sandwich? It's, the I fact that you're constrained to what that's such, what healthy people do. They go, oh, yeah. what's in the fridge? All right, I'll have that. We're like, oh my god, I'll, yeah. I'll do a chicken. I'll do two chicken parm hands. I don't even sandwiches. like. I get like shitty about leftovers of food I was amped up to order the night before. Because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, we'll order Chinese food. And then we have Chinese food for tomorrow, too. And mm-hmm. the next night, you're like, I don't want Chinese food so again. So much more out there. Yeah, like it was Chinese food. Was t- I had Chinese food last night. Now <laughs> I want a burger. Are you not that big of a leftovers guy? Probably like the kind, depends on the kind of leftovers. For depends sure. what it is. Well, you depends take leftovers from a restaurant. <sighs> An Italian restaurant, probably only. Okay. Really? I think okay. only, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd bring home from like a Mediterranean place. Mexican food travels shitty. Yeah, yeah. it does. It gets all dude, it gets all mixed Soggy together. It's over. It's just I've anytime I've had Mexican food delivered outside of Taco Bell, who's really figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I mean, that, yeah, okay, D- dude. I was I lost thirty pounds eating factor meals. Yeah, and the amount of times that I put the factor meal unopened back into the fridge to order Taco Bell. I mean, I oh, bet. just the sluttiest feeling. It's yeah. so good. I know, but it is such a it's so funny. You look at the thing. It's like, you picked this. Mm-hmm. When I picked it, I was like, Poblano beef? Yeah, bowl. I'm delicious. ready for that. Sure. But if your mind is like if you chicken saw, fingers, yeah. you're like, Poblano beef bowl. If you, <laughs> God damn it. If you saw a commercial or somebody was talking about something that day and it gets into the brain, you're, you're fucked. Well, what's almost well, it's also fu- the best what? me. I want the poblano beef. The best version of me. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have a 500 calorie meal. That's yeah. perfect. I'm going to make it in two minutes. It's already at the house. It was... But... Me, if I do a day of whatever, and it's like, oh, I need, oh, I need pasta to feel better. Today. Mm, yeah, but I also have like the I'll I can reward myself for the most minimal amount of work. Like if you fuck like uh, earlier in the evening, you know, I mean, you're done. And you're like, I mean, I fuck. That was like, and I really gave a lot. Like I could have <laughs> Wendy's now. <laughs> like I'm not saying it's gonna be a net uh, positive, but well, I mean, yeah. like it's cancel you know, each other. Uh, yeah, out yeah, yeah. Bit. It'll no. be like I never ate Wendy's because I fucked for the better part of 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, what's the silverware situation at the house? You guys got a full set? Yeah, but I, I'll tell you what. When I was growing up, my entire <laughs> life, when I moved out with my, and I was living with my ex-wife forever, and now with Christine forever, at some point every couple of years we buy a set of like, tw- nice, we're like, oh, these are nice ones, let's get these ones. I think it's because we eat so much takeout and shit, you just zing those things out yeah. constantly, yeah. and you don't even realize. They like, just disappear. You're like, why do I only have two forks? Oh, they must be in the dishwasher. And then you're like, there's only two forks in there. We have so many forks. Yeah. Like, where are, And they just throw them out with, like, for sure, like, tin foil wrappers yeah. of... That is funny. Man. It's also some about the mentality. If someone just took a factor meal, and somebody goes, dude, I'm ordering from my favorite place tonight for us. Like, don't even... And they just delivered it in like a tin. You'd crush with it. Like a thing. I would just be like, yo, can I order from this place again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's some of the factor, you know, you're, in your mind, you're like, I know well, you're it's making the right I'm choice. making a healthy yeah. choice, though, and healthy is not fun. No, yeah. Not like, I had a long day, and I deserve to feel it's the worst. I, know. I never understood that. Like, it's like when someone doesn't like porn, you're like, what? When someone doesn't have that, when like, like Josh Edemeyer is great, the guy's in great shape, right? Or Justin Silver. If we go to like, Wawa together or something like that uh, and we're driving back from Philly all they're thinking about is they're like they start opening it in the car and they're like I can't what do you mean you don't want to eat it in the car I'm like why do you want to eat it in the car Like, they want to eat it like right then in the car I'm like don't you want to ceremoniously put it <laughs> on a plate and pick exactly what you want to watch from Wawa just whatever it is, I just I just want to ceremoniously. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm different. You want you want the, you want the multiple meals, dopamine hits with factor meals. I almost get annoyed that my uh, that my girl puts out like placemats 
and you know we get the forks and I'm like this feels like I should just be eating it over the sink and then throw it out, like throw the tin out in the thing. She plates yeah. them and stuff, and you're like, what are you doing? That's classy. No, I know, but I mean, it's classy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they did. That was a, a European vacation, remember? Like, slap it from the microwave, yeah. put a flag in it. But they, uh, no, it is, but there's something about, like, again, it's not making the choice. Kippy, you like aura frames? <sighs> every every lady in my family's get one for Christmas this year. Do you need a nice holiday idea? Get yourself an aura frame. Send it to Grandma. Mm-hmm. All right. You got the pictures right there. You can upload them. She's seeing fresh pictures, what the kid's doing, how he's doing in baseball. Bobby's playing gymnastics, doing whatever. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, they were nice enough to send them to us. I got one at the house. I got the, ended up getting them for my mom for her house there. Everybody throws a picture of the kitties up. I'm getting one for her short house down in Wildwood. Bam. Take there you that. Go. Double up because it's such a good gift. Everybody that counts loves as it. Mother's Day too. Yeah, don't. I'm double dipping. Uh, and it's if that's not personal enough for you, you can even upload a video message to play on the frame as soon as they plug it in. So the first thing they hear is your voice, baby. We're bringing families together that's over here sweet. at Aura. Uh, listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting auraframes.com slash garbage. That's Aura A U R A frames.com slash garbage. Use promo code garbage to get thirty dollars off their best selling frames. Terms and conditions apply. Well, say you're you're at make you know you're leaving night of shows, you're headed home. You stop at like a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's. Are you taking that home into the house? A hundred percent of the time, yeah. And are you plating that, or you're eating out of the bag no, on yeah, the couch? I'll eat uh, on the no on my tummy while watching on the road. You're talking about even no in your apartment here. We don't really do it like that. But yes, we well, we eat on the couch always. Couch. You're watching your TV going. Yeah, is there a dining room table or a kitchen table at the apartment? No. There's no space. For, there's no place where it would be. Okay. There's a kitchen counter that's got like stools, but like. You're not doing that. Place to eat. Yeah. Dude, a guy who sits at his own bar and eats is a psychopath. <laughs> yeah. So no, we, no... Put a, we put like the placemats on the ottoman and uh, just eat on that. Uh, okay. Basically. Will you plate the McDonald's or no? You'll go right out of the bag. Out of the wrapper. Christine will bring plates for McDonald's, which is kind of funny. Throw them like, against the wall. I really, I'm like, what <laughs> are we doing? You dumb bitch. <laughs> what are we doing? Stop it. Because she likes to mix her stuff on the plate. So she makes, she's a big, we're a big sauce household. Okay. And she's a big sauce concoction. So it's like she Mixing has the her, mayo, the ketchup, She has whatever. her half hot mustard sauce, half ketchup for fries and nuggets. Mm-hmm. She's got her whatever, yeah, like ketchup over here to dip the burger in maybe or so. It's She's the tube. I'll just eat those right out. I'm like, no, no, no. God made these perfect. <laughs> sure. We don't need to fucking dress it up with a bunch of schmutz. Do you eat in the car at all? Because uh, I got to say, that is, I, I'm with Kippy. That is a little, I'm uh, surprised. Like, if you go to Wawa and you're driving back to New York. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm driving also, so I really can't. I'll eat it in the parking lot. I'll pull yeah, up, so I'll, yeah, if I pull will, up yeah. in front. I will get my sandwich. I will move so I don't get judged by the other people and go park along like the side or something. I get the If I was eating for sustenance, it just wouldn't be that thing. Like if I eat in the car, it's like we got gas and I ran in and grabbed like, you know, fruit nut mix or something. You know what I mean? Or for combos. worse than combos. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Let me do before we here, Jay. I grabbed the fruit nut mix. Fruit nut mix. <laughs> oh, Christine, I grabbed the fruit nut mix. I'm grabbing you got nacho beef. cheese pretzel combos. And if you eat cracker combos, you're a psycho. Yeah, oh, get yeah. out of here with Why those. do they make, do you know some places, have you ever been to a place <laughs> that only has the cracker combos? It's not like, lame. Only it's the nuts. cracker. I'm a pretzel combo man. The, yeah. The pretzel. Purist. The, the, the original. Non, the cheddar. non pretzel look like dog treats. They, yeah. they, they look Snossages. like the pepperoni thing. <laughs> pepperoni. Yeah. Look at pigs in a blanket. <laughs> yeah. And the red. Yeah. They look so bad. <clears throat> Is that garbage? My favorite hors d'oeuvre of all time pigs in a blanket. It's the only one I can't miss. Love them. I love them. It is trashy, though. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they, you know. I was at a, I was at a nice wedding not too long ago, and they had the like, dude. I couldn't identify and or pronounce what all the other ones were, but they had the pigs in a blanket, I think is like a kitschy, yeah. like, oh, we're, you know, we're trashy. We're slumming it. And I, dude, I was <laughs> clocking them out of the fucking You had them as an entree? Yeah. I like that when someone tries to fancy up a basic thing. The the stand, the first location of the stand used to have corn dog popsicles, they called it. Mm. But it's just a corn dog. mini corn dog on a long piece of wood, like yeah. a long stick. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. But $13, you get six of them or whatever. Hmm. Flash fried corn dogs. All right. All right. Go to settle down. Something. <laughs> <laughs> we all got corn dogs on the brain. I know there's something in here. I forgot I had a fucking uh, ankle. I forgot I had an ankle gun. <laughs> 
this guy, the guy's got a six shooter on him. <laughs> little nickel plated sissy pistol down there. Oh, you guys thought you patted me down, but I had an ankle gun the whole time. <laughs> Glenn, hey. hit the door. Comes out of your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cleaningly over at the house? Are you guys cleaning the house yourselves? We clean ourselves off, but we do have cleanly come in probably like once every three or four weeks. Nice. Hmm. Swiffer? Yep. Roomba? No, Roomba. I, the place is just like, I feel like New York apartment store is just too small to like make yeah. it make sense. Like For me, it takes to vacuum my whole apartment, which I have to do a lot because we have a dog. You're doing this, too. You'll vacuum. Yeah, I really, I clean, I like it clean. I probably have even a higher standard of clean than Christine does. See, it is interesting. But. He's got blue fur. <laughs> I, when I am doing the things that I require that she probably just wouldn't do at all. Uh, when I'm doing them, uh-huh. I really always have some part of me is always feeling like you should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I take care of you very well, <laughs> and why am I vacuuming? Sure. But I want it done right. I want it done often. <laughs> Fair so enough. So I'll jump in and do it though. But I mean, yeah, she like she makes the bed every day, and that's that's a whole. We have like a special vacuum that vacuums dog hair off the blanket and yeah. shit, which is like it's a it's an ordeal. King size mattress, California King, California King. Okay. Tempur-Pedic. Tempur-Pedic? And it bends up. All right. Uh, Wait, really? Yeah. Do you have a TV in there? 70 inch. I In the bedroom? That's yeah. fucking nuts, What the fuck? That's a bedroom like TV. sleeping in an AMC. Oh, uh, in my living room, I got that's like crazy. a- That's crazy. In my living room, I got like a 90-something inch. I- my Man, ste- that's, you that's, that's, that's new money. You have a 70 inch that's TV pan- in your bedroom. That's, that's, that's passed crazy. down from my step-pop. My, something about my step-pop, his <laughs> sign of like, we're doing well, all right. Yeah was like our TV got bigger. Mm-hmm. And then when they would you get like a that, bigger Jay? or better TV, when I moved especially, you'd get theirs. Uh, and they had a, one of the last times, a Mitsubishi. I mean, speaker on the bottom, yeah. box, big screen. Those things were huge. And when I, my first or my second apartment, I guess, in New York. Oh, you mean the monster flat screens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but it's, they had the- They, they were sitting on the, sitting on the floor. Yeah. Oh, it's like two feet deep. Yeah, the bottom's a speaker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Weighed roughly two to three tons. Yeah. Yes. And I got a truck to go pick it up for my parents. Mike Vecchione came with me. And Mike Vecchione, he'll, he'll never forget the story either. It was like, uh, okay, how are we going to get this up? It was one, two, three. Jesus. Three flights of stairs, maybe Man. four. But was, and this thing was the width of the <laughs> landings and stairs. <laughs> and Vecchione somehow drew the straw for bottom anchor. Oh. And I was. You got to do that. It's I your was yeah. TV. pulling. <laughs> <laughs> and when my fingers came off this thing, dude, I mean, it was like a, he should have had like the Stallone pal. <laughs> when he's like, I mean. He Big almost strong died. guy, though. He almost died three times that Jesus. night trying to get that thing up the stairs. We finally got it up there. And, you know, it's like one of those things, like, it's outdated in a year. <laughs> like, yeah. I, yeah. I don't even remember how we, we may have just left it when we moved and been like, oh, no, no, actually we did. We, we, we moved it to our next place after that. Jesus That's crazy. our big bottom base screen TV. Man. But we, so, I said that the technology changes a lot, but my step pop was me. So when we got like a place with a wall that can fit, I'm like, I'll sacrifice something to have a big. TV that fits this wall. 96 so I, is what you're bumping out? Yeah, I think so. 90, That's yeah. huge. 95, 96. 70 inch in the and room. And then both bedrooms, 70 inch. That's the size of the bed. That's crazy. <laughs> that's great. I mean, if, yeah, that's and will nuts. You, so you'll sit, you'll lay, is it at the foot of the bed? Yeah. So you'll put the thing up like you're in a chaise lounge. Zero G. <laughs> Me, the dog, and Christine just sitting there watching HBO Max original documentaries. <laughs> were, you, were you eating there? Were you eating in the bedroom? No. No eating in the bedroom? No. Nah, when we were... Once in a while, we'll call it a picnic and do it in the bedroom. <laughs> but as I get older, how much That's I love- That's just cute. I don't know what to tell you. How much I a love, hopeless romantic. How much I love, and I know it's not a good way, and I'd probably hurt for it later, but in a hotel room, late night eating, on my tummy, over my pillows, while I'm watching my computer, is the best for me. You like really? that? That's crazy. I love it. But everyone's like, I can't eat on my- I mean, the more people that tell me they couldn't possibly eat on their stomach, I start- paying attention to the reasons why, and I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. It's probably a weird path for the food to travel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I imagine you're kicking your feet like you're talking to boys on <laughs> yeah. the phone. Sometimes. He's got the cord. He's I do. When we do Legion of Skanks Zoom, if I'm on the road, yeah, when I've I seen do you. it, I do it. We've you done see, one you see, with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, you see my little tootsies mm-hmm. like kicking in the background. It's like, it's like a mermaid back there. <laughs> Tummy time. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Huh. 
Hmm. What about in the shower? Are you using... Um, you want to take one? <laughs> are you using barred soap? Are you using uh, gel? Can I take a guess? Gel loofah guy. So, CVS loofah. <laughs> first things first. I got a... It's a loofah glove. Wow. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't... Because the loofahs, I feel like they come apart immediately. They do. They're like scrunchies. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're sort of like... But that's when you know to get rid of it. But I feel like that happens like in two or three uses. I scrub. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? The pots and pans with them? So I got this glove. He's now. in there with an SOS pad. Uh, okay. I'm big on exfoliation, but so got great skin. First thing, are you big on the glove? You're talking about the two gloves? No, 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 this is one. Do glove. you know the ones I'm talking about? Though it, they're thinner. It's, it's yep. fingerless. <laughs> oh yes, I've done those before too. It's just glove. They look like little winter gloves. Yeah, yeah. but and they exfoliate the shit out of those you. Those are good. I like those, but no, this is just like a one. Looks like an oven mitt almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's uh, it's rough. Like a first baseman's glove. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. travel with this? <laughs> uh, no bad, no bad, no bad, no bad. I don't travel with the glove. You're talking to Christine I'll with it over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the. T Pass me my <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> I'll tell you the uh, the two versions of what I do depending where I'm at. When I'm home, my shower thing is water pick, uh, teeth. Get in the shower. Okay. So shampoo hair, condition hair. Don't rinse it out. Leave the conditioner, Leave the conditioner in. in. Then I brush my teeth in the, the shower, shower, which we talked about before. I know right. It was mm -hmm. a big thing. Brush my teeth in the shower. Then I finish that. Then I mouthwash. Put the mouthwash in. In the shower? In the shower. You have the bottle in there. Yeah. Whew. Then Whoa. I've never heard of that. Is it Listerine? Oh, yeah. What color? Peg Purple. De Peg deferred. Purple. <laughs> Purple. Man, I can't or get the white, right on this Or the guy. all white. Jeez. Or the all white, uh, the all white bottle. I don't no, know what I the color say, You're not is. using the old school, the yellow no, shit. No. Remember that when it cat? Oh dude, yeah, it was like fucking turpentine. Now it's called Sepasol or whatever. Yeah, it's like it hurts. Brutal. But I pegged you for a scope, man. No, no, scope. no, no Listerine. This is a man's man. It's a man's man. <laughs> and then um, now get back to your while I'm mouth washing, that's when I get the glove, squirt the Dove fragrance free. Okay. Uh, I have very sensitive skin. Fragrance free. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, so I use that. Scrub the shit out of my inner thighs, mm -hmm. under gut, mm -hmm. armpits, arms, mm -hmm. ass, ass crack, asshole, feet. Then I put that down. Face. Grab the Dove unscented bar of soap. Okay. And then do the whole body with the soap. Uh, okay. Like hit all the skin with the soap. Then put that down. Put on a face. CeraVe face, like not scrub, but like, Mask you know, no, thing. like uh, it's just face wash. We're okay. still in the shower. Still in the I shower. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> we're in the shower still. <laughs> face wash. I think there was a slice of pizza somewhere in there. <laughs> I uh, do the face wash. Ma'am, is your husband home? <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a factor meal. <laughs> Sit down. Have a factor. It's, it's two slices of sausage and something. <laughs> two potato wedges. Uh... Then I uh, rinse everything off. Then I take the shower head off and turn it on the jammer. Mm -hmm. And I try to loose. I try to uh, relax my asshole and accept some in there. Okay. So I can really clean out my shitter good. Uh huh. Uh, I hit all the crevices with that to right. power wash it out. Uh, turn that back off, and then I. Get out of the shower. Then the lotions. Jesus Christ. Tenactin foot spray. Is this uh, even in the summer, your lotion and all that stuff? You're moisturizing in the summer? Yeah, yeah. Really? All right, so you do Tenactin foot spray every day? Yeah. You're not supposed to do that, man. You're no? only supposed to. No. You, do you athletes have athlete's do. foot all the time? No, and he never no. will either. <laughs> no, but His I'll kids won't either. After <laughs> no. this. Nor will his car. <laughs> when I went on those tours and I was taking showers and like, and I realized that we do this a lot in uh, hotels also. I got. The, I didn't know what the fuck. Now, as a as a fat guy, I've had thigh rub issues before. Where you're like, that's what that chafing. Yeah, this wasn't that. It was whatever it was. Uh, I had like a thing that was killing me on my inner thigh, and, it, and then I looked at it and it had like a like circle around it almost, which wasn't like the rubbing or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I went to a doctor, and they were like, ringworm. Uh, yeah, which is essentially putting your underwear on before like dry you drag your underwear you drag your underwear across your feet and then you're pulling basically athlete's foot into your crotch oh so that's and i was like oh never again so tenactin uh Tough socks, for, socks first 
Socks first. Naked, then socks? Like, your naked socks go first on first? First thing, socks. Because you can't move around to tenactin on your feet. Otherwise, it's going to wipe off. I understand But not that. even just that. I just do the socks first also so when I put my underwear on, I'm not dragging, like, anything Whoa. from my feet up. Now, where are you doing this? You, you get out of the bathroom? Or you, you're not putting your socks Dry on? Dry off in the shower. Uh, you put many- your socks on in the bathroom? No, no, no. Okay. No, I get out of the shower. How many towels are you using? Tenactin, lotion, just one. It's a sheet, bath sheet. <laughs> uh, Man. I like a large one. And uh <laughs> makes me feel teensy. He's a monster on stage, oh but a God. lady in how the bathroom. Much, how much it overlaps when I close it. Uh, makes you, you feel know, nice. When you go to fucking hotels and I look like a, I look like a, a gay bathhouse owner. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Sorry, is part of my balls hanging out? Are yeah. you going above the boobs when you ra- when you wrap yourself up in it? Or you I going- go under gut the same as my jeans. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, in case I see anybody, and you can like suck in and be like, "Yeah, my waist actually isn't all that." You, they make you feel skinny. Yeah. They make you feel skinny. It. You start looking in the mirror like this and stuff. Boom. Yeah, I stand sideways. Yeah. And go, this is how my stomach always looks. So uh-huh. I probably always suck in. Um, and then I'll uh, yeah, lotion, any kind of uh, ointments or whatever's. Sometimes I'll throw in if I take a peek at it. I'll throw on the Rectacare on my asshole, What's so that? I don't. It's, what are you living at CVS? Dude? Yeah, this what, is, crazy. is this a daily routine? No, I had a hemorrhoid once. Someone said Rectacare was the way to play it. Cleared it up in a day. <laughs> and I was like, so now sometimes it like to connect and I'll just pop it on dude, and be like, you that's know what? crazy. Asshole's a little bit tender today. Might as well throw a little Rectacare on there just in case. You're the only guy I know that's had one ailment once and just go every day is like, I'm due pre- yeah, there's preventative something maintenance to that. that. Yeah. That's paranoia. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. something to you that. You don't want to get the, the things again. So. <laughs> This is a daily routine. Yeah, all those creams and salves. Salves. <laughs> <laughs> My creams and salves hour. Uh, uh, okay. Then I put on uh, socks, underwear, <laughs> tank top, pants, shirt, shoes. You're doing a tank top every day? Do, yeah. Wife beater or like tank top? Wife beater. No matter you're what you're wearing. You're doing a black wife beater every Always, day. Yeah, yeah. You are a dirtbag. Yeah, yeah totally. Totally. <laughs> yeah. A I'm black like a super- wife beater. I'm like a nuts. superhero. I wear my fuck outfit under my clothes at all times. <laughs> what are you going to take my shirt off and then put a tank top on afterward? I'm going to look like an ass. It defeats the whole purpose of the tank top. Is that also preventative maintenance? So if you do end in a frisky situation, you're completely covered? Let me tell you something. Frisky? What if we're in, I just watched Stallone's Daylight yesterday. <laughs> what if we're underground and surrounded by fire in a tunnel and it's hot and everyone's taking their shirt off because it's so hot? Well, I got to be able to take my shirt off, too, and not be fully embarrassed. I mean, dude. So tank top. Because <laughs> I still even feel I go, I think we're going to die on here, guys. That guy's got a lot of stretch marks. I think we're, we're going to die, guys. Man, are those tits or fucking pecs? Uh, guys, I can't breathe. Wow. Dude, yeah. daily tank top in case it pops off. In case is, anything is, pops is, off. Yeah, literally anything. Post-apocalyptic yeah. shit. Uh, a fuck sesh. <laughs> Could be a loose stripper or fucking terrorist. It, He's could, be ready. A t- it could be a time where I just have to do this. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what way, Third Street? Uh. <laughs> it's got a little itch on my tum tum there. He goes, what uh? Are you guys singing for dinner, dinner, huh? Jesus. Oh, man. You're nuts. Can I tell you something? Fucking and taking off my sweatshirt to start fuck- and the tank tops coming up with it is the worst you moment need, yeah. ever. So you talk, you're tucked mo- into the pants. Oh, I, yeah. But Are you tucked I also, into the underwear? No. Okay. <laughs> but I try to. You're having pointed up in the 80s. Is the 80s. Are you tucked into the underwear? <laughs> man, he wouldn't but be getting I, laid if I'm, he was. I, am, <laughs> I don't know what this dude, guy. Taking, this guy's all over the road. Dude, taking the shirt off if the if you know the tank top's not tucked into the thing and like. Having to do this move, like the oh, hold yeah. down. And oh, the yeah. You get jammed so up when pathetic. you try a hoodie on in like a Macy's or something, dude. You're fucking. So you're... like, try it on right here. It's just a shirt. I go, no. Oh, yeah. I need a changing room. <laughs> Can you unlock four, please? Thank you. <laughs> I just have one item. Um. So everything is everything is in preparation. Yeah, hair's last. Okay. And then I, I did not know this about you. It's not. That's a, that is a huge routine, man. And some would say it's classy. Your reasons and paranoia are not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's all rooted in trash shit. <laughs> yeah. What are you putting in the hair? That's got to be a. That's good. You you like you have a nice head of hair. You take care of your hair. You. It's got to be a good product. If you're doing all that other nice product. And hold on, are you washing and conditioning your hair every time you get in the shower? No, I am. Yeah, with uh. You should stop that. Short hair. It's not good that. for you. It's, for short hair, I don't think it matters very much. I, when I, I wash my hair every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to treat it right for one month. <laughs> Look what happened. Well, how often do you do it? I wash my hair maybe once a month. No. Yeah. Really? It's thin, though. It does, but it, it does. It gives it like that kind of shine. It makes it lay nice. Yeah. He's not wrong. <laughs> but also the thing is, 
what are you putting product in your hair every day? Yeah. You just rinse it every day. I rinse it. Yeah. And then, but you don't wash it. No. Yeah, I yeah. get it wet. I would say pull off a couple days a week and see what happens. I might give it a shot. I'll tell you what. Gets ringworm on his head. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Don't listen to Foley. What. You got good hair for I'm going to give it a shot, and I'll tell you, because what I don't like is if I don't put stuff in my hair, I have like... Just like not frizzy, but just like just awful. Huh. No, yeah, I'm saying too. use the product. Use the product. You no, might but you rinse it out. Yeah. yeah, you might want to. You might want to pull back from the, the from, especially in the wind. I don't know if your scalp gets dry. It also depends on whether your 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 hair is oily. No, I. You know, it's funny. I had dandruff once in my life when I was a kid. Yikes! And one, I just you know I didn't know how the extent it was, but I used because that was again this is the hair products of like I did spiked hair when I was younger mm-hmm. with the tail and. Mm-hmm. uh Dippity do was what I was told to get, Dippity which is do. just alcohol yeah. and mm-hmm. glob. When that dries, if you touch your hair, it's instant dandruff. So I had I didn't realize how bad. And then one day doing homework over a composition book, I remember like I did the uh, the Ali Sheedy from the Breakfast Club mm-hmm. and with a mechanical pencil, like the uh, with no like lead in it. I started going. At, I mean, I basically deflaked my hair, which Jesus. was crazy, and then got selsum blue. And put that on my hair, and I mean, screamed for that stuff burned <laughs> so much. And I just attacked my head with a point. You know what I mean? It hurts, but uh, I never had dandruff again after that for some reason. I always tried to use better products. Use it three times a day, every day. So. My product to answer that question before is uh, right now, it'll change time to time if I find one that's good, but crew, crew fiber. Fiber's okay. good. Okay, fiber that's... is my base layer. Jesus. And then there's like, a, I forget the name of the other one. If I saw it, I would Is know. it a spray I or another? A crew forming cream, the green one, the green label. It's not forming cream, but it's a different kind of cream. It's It actually might be forming cream, and mm. it's like a grayish. Okay. Color, but it's the uh, stronger hold. But what uh, Big what I like do, what I have to get is like the, I don't like when it like when you touch it, and it's like spikes and they're hard. Like I like to be able to, like, even though it's like done, to still be Some able to give touch to it. Some give to it, yeah. Yeah, so I put those. Can I touch it? Sure. Curious. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, way softer than yeah. way softer than you anticipated. Oh, like it yeah, would you cut can, like, you. Grab it all. Yeah, it looks sharp. Okay, man. man. But I'm gonna try this. Less washing. I would do once a week when I had long hair. Okay. I'd wash once a week. But you're right. The fourth day of like uh, not washing it though, you're like it's the best day it looks. Yeah, it is. But something about me knew. I'm like it's greasy though. Yeah. But like it does shine. Yeah. It's good. Like the natural oils get in it. Do you put the conditioner on your beard? Do you do anything to that? I have beard shampoo conditioner in my. But that was given as a. I would have never bought that. That was given to me as a gift. How so often I'll, is I'll, that I'll in the routine? Use it like every other day when I'm home. Any blow drying? No, not anymore. But uh, when uh, again on the road, my big thing is. This is nuts. We've spent about forty minutes in the bathroom. Shower, right now. Yeah. It's crazy. You're nuts. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. You're fucking tree, dude. <laughs> And, the, and the, <laughs> on the road, I bring a bar of soap, so I have my Dove. You do. You bring yeah. a bar of soap. Yeah. Is it a fresh bar or is it in a thing? I always have a fresh bar in my bag. Full size. Full size. Waiting in, or the dollar one, but but the good soap, though. Good, good soap. Dove. Yeah. But I keep one in my suitcase, like full, ready to go. And then I have the case that's the yeah. wearing down one from the road. Oh, yeah. those things are so trashy. The soap container. They really are garbage, but it does feel, st- even though it's like a buck thing mm-hmm. for a bar of soap. I'm doing it. It I'm feels something it. so weird about like, because I could just leave it there, which I've done before, but I'm like, it's just weird to keep ordering it and packing it to like leave it. I've so been, I, I've been. I've if t- you were bringing a clean bar of soap with you every time, you would be a serial killer. I, and I was doing that and I was like, it's kind of stupid. So I don't do that anymore. Yeah, that's I bring crazy. A, I always have a fresh, full, unopened wipes. In my bag, butt wipes. Yeah, okay. But I will also bring, like, I will work that one down until it's gone, and like then, on the road, gotcha. and then I'll open up the new one on the road. So I always have like one plus. You'll always have a Jesus. So when they have the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner in the shower, like in the in the little thing, you'll never use that. I use the shampoo conditioner. You will house for sure. Yeah. I, in fact, it's a. Uh, it's so yeah. It's shampoo conditioner, and then what I have started using now. Because I'm like, I never loofah on the road. I'd like to loofah. Now, I'm not bringing a loofah. <laughs> but it's where I've now learned the beauty of, thank you, black people, the washcloth. The washcloth. All right, you can get exfoliate with them. So I do a washcloth, whatever their body wash they have on the thing is. So you will use that? I will use it. But here's the thing. I don't really go. I go armpits, uh, arms, asshole, <laughs> dick pits, and feet. 
that's really it. And then everything else I just do with the bars. So. I don't know anybody that washes their feet. <laughs> I've never heard the term dick pits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the pits. You it's, know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. Is the de- what, deodorant, is that going anywhere other than the armpits? We use a little, I, I, a little under the belly. You ever do that? No, it's not a bad idea. But uh, I do under the belly. Not that, deodorant. but I'll tell you what to do instead of that, if I may. Please. I don't want to step out of bounds. No. Here, but, uh. Consider You're the cleanest yourself, guy in here. Consider getting yourself some. My girlfriend's into this now too. She does it for thighs and like under tit shit. Loomy. No, um, Arm and Hammer. <laughs> Baking soda. No, Gold Bond spray. Okay. Gold Bond spray, and that it does work. My problem with it's the Gold cool. Bond spray is the aerosol runs out quicker than the than the product in it. Does it? I you, had that last summer. Well, I was using it. Uh, under the under the under the hood. Sure. So when I turn it upside down, the Echoes. medicine wouldn't come out. It would just be the aerosol. Yeah, that's when you have to trust a woman to spray it from behind while you get on all fours, <laughs> or get some sort of pulley system. Yeah, hit the carriage for me real quick. <laughs> there she is. You're a good kid. <laughs> now get out of here. Get out of here, scamp. Huh? Wow. What, what kind of deodorant? Uh, the degree. Like promises no gotcha. white marks. Sure. So it's uh, antiperspirant and deodorant. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be. I also, but I get uh, Botox. Twenty four hour protection. I get Botox in my armpits. Whoa. Which for the sweating rules. Really. Yeah, and it's so funny. I don't have like a like I'm not a huge like sweater. I really am not like I don't sweat it like you know like Lewis like sweats so much. Uh huh. I don't very much, but then it would just get times like on my armpits. Like, I would hate, like, I wouldn't want to wear, like, the shirt I was going to wear on a show on a drive, even if it was, like, an hour. Sure. Because I'm, like, just sitting in the car. Like, I, 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 I'm, up. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm schwitzing now. I'm that. telling you, if the Botox, it takes. What's that set you back? Two minutes. Insurance will do it. It'll, what? Like, yeah, <laughs> nothing. This guy's getting cosmetic armpit <laughs> surgery. <laughs> That's crazy. But it makes you stop. Uh, well, you just do yeah, <laughs> hyperhydrosis, which I don't think I have, mm-hmm. but, like, if you. If they say you have hyperhydrosis, they'll do it. It takes yeah. three minutes, and it lasts like a year. Doctors yeah. play a little more ball now than they used to. They really it's do. Pay to play. They 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 <laughs> they always really say, "I'll make sure I type this up so it works for the insurance oh, company." I, you're not wrong. I, I, I do believe that. my doctor. If like, he's also a fan and great dude. But if, I think if I was like, I'd love to try some opiates, <laughs> he'd be like, "All right, back's hurting." Man, I mean. I'm more confused. I'm sorry. That, that He's a clean guy. You said you're using the water pick. Yeah. No flossing. Floss in the road. I don't bring the water pick. Floss in the road. And the flossing is a daily thing? Yeah. The sticks or the, the Actual floss? floss. You're brushing Old your school. tongue? I don't think I could do the sticks anymore because I got the veneers. Uh, so, uh, the way you say? You're brushing your tongue? No, uh, n- uh, yes, I do brush my tongue, but... I was told the other day you have to get a tongue scraper, which yeah, now will pretty become good. part of the thing. It was Ralph from uh, Gas Digital. They're real gross he when you. The person said it's disgusting. You it's have to crazy. really rinse it off, like after you do it. It's like a retainer. It it's smells nuts. so bad. Yeah, it's not good. But your tongue feels great. It does, right? Yeah. It's also, so, so I think, it's like supposedly very healthy for like your gut and everything. Like it's like a very yeah. like for the rest of your body. I think there's benefits for it. I got a tongue scrape now. Add that in. Jot that down for me. <laughs> These guys never going to get out Tongue of the bathroom. Too calm. <laughs> yeah, I really, it really, that is the annoying thing between the time, like I said, taking a shit's my real, like, let's see what's going on in the world. What am I going to talk about on broadcast today? Time. So I really make a meal out of that. I try to get out now when my legs go numb. I mean, you're nuts, dude. Because I heard that's really bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. I used to just let it go. When my legs go numb, I would just shift cheeks. And just like let that. I've like never had. I'm life. in and out to a speed where it's like it alarms Toby. Toby's oh. like, I've never seen anything like that. You do move quick in there. That's my moment. <laughs> They're trying to get you. That's my moment. Are yeah. you a squatty potty guy? No. Yeah, me neither. I'm. I try more it. of an explosive diarrhea kind of guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just... Soder swears by that thing. Everybody, I don't. Yeah. They're good for you. I know, but it didn't seem to make any difference for me other than just feels weird the way I'm sitting. Was it was, was it too tall? Because complete... you know, there's there's levels. They're shorter ones and taller tall. ones. Yeah, I got it. My we didn't realize it when we ordered it, and we ordered one that was like fucking four children. inches. Yeah, I feel like I was in the Apollo space capsule. <laughs> yeah, my legs were like up here. Uh. Really, the baby floating in space. <laughs> yeah. Who am I in a fucking utero? Um, taking your shoes off on a plane. Uh, 
exclusively when it's the lay down ones. Oh, okay. that's given. And I overthink. Also, one of the things I forgot in my routine also is uh, Arm and Hammer now also has a sneaker refresher spray. So every time I before I put on and take off my sneakers, I'll spray that in the sneakers. Very meticulous. And yeah. the thinking of that is also because, like I said, it's fear as a f- been fat my whole life. So I've never wanted to be the smelly. The I've met a lot of fat the, people yeah. who like even like comics through the years I've met where I'm like, I feel terrible because like me and this person have so much in common. And at the same time, I'm like, why are you letting yourself be like the smelly fucking Tom. guy? I'm like, you got to choose <laughs> one or the other, man. You could be a gross fucking bony thin guy and chicks won't give a shit yeah. sometimes. Very you need weird. every, you need to, you need to win every battle you can. That's why I said, I don't know. Like, have you, are you guys big on like, like I was always impressed with Soda as a person who could do this and uh, several other, Josh Adam Myers does it all the time. People who are relatively confident in like their thing and their own skin, just ripping ass in front of chicks. Oh, oh never, no. never. I would, n- I'd be so mortified. I'm like, oh, and it stinks, of course, because mm-hmm. you're fat and it's something gross <laughs> down there. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, I have, no. I'm so like worried about shit. I, like, I that. had a buddy in college, in shape, good looking dude, and I wasn't even that big. You know, I would go through phases. Like, I'd be skinny in the spring, I'd be heavier in the winter, but I was a, I was a fat guy. I was a chubby guy. This kid was fucking shredded, blonde, gorgeous, and he loved it. He would be at a party and just <laughs> fucking rip ah. one and then fucking laugh about it. And I had to pull him aside. I'm like, dude, they think I'm doing it. Oh. You got to knock nah, that that's shit That's your off. anxiety. No, but... they, you know what I'm yeah, talking no, about. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm if, like, I'm if somebody fucks like, in a room. By assumption, unless the person takes the full, like, ha ha, look yeah. at me, credit for it. Uh, it, it, it's a little bit of insecurity because I'm sure. going like sure. they probably assume you're one hundred percent. So uh, whenever like, so I try to never f- put myself in a position where if someone goes like, oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, I just if, petrified. Forget even saying it out loud. I go, it is probably not me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. How I bad, showered three times today. <laughs> how bad it gets <laughs> where was this weekend? Uh, Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. Something I don't know because they were cleaning the room or something afterwards, or maybe it was the trash, but something smelled like shit. And I know that I had a little bit of bubble guts, so I was like, I think when I get back to the room, I am going to shit. I didn't fart or anything, but I just kept smelling, and I was talking to uh, Mike oh, Fenoy was with yeah. me, and I'm talking to him about it. I'm like, do you smell? He's like, I do smell. I go, buddy, I don't. Hang on. And I went into the bathroom. By the way, the only bathrooms at Hilarities are public. Yeah. So when you go in there, three people go, dude, no fucking way. <laughs> and I go, oh, I just what's shit up? myself. I go, hey, what's up, guys? And I went in the fucking... All they saw was me go in the ba- in a stall, uh, undo my belt, uh, put a piece of toilet paper down, and swipe it down my yeah, ass crack. I've done that. Nothing there. Mm-hmm. And then, so they heard me go in there for a second. They heard like, and then two seconds later, me walking out, being like, "What's up, guys? Thank you, man. Thanks for coming out." And then just walking right back out of the bathroom. I clearly didn't piss or shit. It was they went there to do coke. It was so bizarre, but I went to take a swipe of my ass to make sure, sure. before I go meet people after this show. <laughs> you didn't. I don't have shit in my cheeks. Well, that's uh, anytime as a I'll, no also. fucking way. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> thing. Oh, the guy was like, no fucking way. I go, hey guys, what's up? Sorry, I got a beeline. I'll do in pictures the in a I may have shit myself <laughs> and not known it. Uh, Wait, that was your genuine concern that you would shit yourself and didn't realize it? I have that a lot because I was just like, I couldn't it, even guess where it would have happened. Yeah. But I was just like, that smell was strong, and I was like, and I equate. And if you start the doing that. thing, I go, I have, like, bubble guts. Yeah. I did I go, fart. Maybe I just, like, let it out, mm-hmm. and I'm not knowing somehow. I am getting older. <laughs> and you start you start doing that math of, like, well, I was. concerns. In- I had a lot of weight on my plate. <laughs> like, I, I was in the elevator by myself. I didn't smell it then. So by by assumption, it's not me. I didn't smell it in the Uber. I did, Like, you start doing that math. And then coming back in the room. When I realized it's not when I went and wiped my crack like that, and I came back in the room. Now I'm top investigator on what yeah. it is. All right, <laughs> Finoia, guys, take your pants off. Is. Let's go through and see what it is because it ain't me. And now I'm gonna shame whoever it is. Yeah, that was the fat man's. <laughs> Whenever another fat kid would have something fat happen to him, oh, it's devastating. The other fat on fat crime, dude. There was no solidarity in that. The other fat uh-huh. kids never went. Leave him alone, man. It's fucking embarrassing. Taking you know, the heat like, off you. Ah, you asshole. <laughs> you can't, your fat feet can't walk in front of each other down steps. Poor bastard. Some fat kid at the bottom bleeding. Ah, you dumb fat shit. I'm not as fat as this guy, right, girls? <laughs> I used to start fake fat. There was one kid that came to our school. Jesus. I don't remember even if he was that. I don't think he was fatter than me. But I was like, 
I just made up a lie on my kid. That kid's so fat. Like, I went up and I poked his stomach with a pin. He didn't even feel it, <laughs> which wouldn't even be the case. Your nerves are still there. <laughs> it's not your skin between you and any pain in your stomach. Uh-huh. Uh, I love how you're like new kid on the block. I got to get out in front of this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to start. You got to control so the, the narrative. One, the one kid I ever tried to bully, dude, ended up fucking like teeing off on my face. Because <laughs> I, the, the, we were fighting outside of uh, the library uh, by a school. That's where everybody kind of went to fight. And then uh, it start. I was picking on him. I was like trying to get him to like because I was like all the cool kids were like a little behind me, going like, "Yeah, dude." You know, you, you fucking with this guy. And that kid came and uh, <laughs> he threw his fucking hat up in the air. He just had enough of me, like, doing I was, I, I was doing it because he was not accepting. So I'm like, ooh, I can lean into it. Like, he doesn't want to fight. Mm-hmm. I don't really want to fight. I just <laughs> want these kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> and then he turned around and he sung his hat up in the air. And like a dummy, I went. <laughs> I looked at the hat. And he hit me. It wasn't too bad. And then I just had him in, like, you know, what we all did in school, the most... No real mo- next move headlock. Yeah, the yeah. fat, fat guy headlock. Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, the, are you done? Yeah, are you yeah. done? <laughs> Hoping he gives up. You good? You good? We huh? done? And I don't want to hear about this ever again. <laughs> and I'm, I, I got him in the fat guy headlock. Not doing any damage, just holding. And then the security guard comes out, and he goes, Hey, I already called the cops, so you guys better get the fuck out of here. And I was like, Ooh, my mom's not going to. My mom didn't play with that. So I was like, I, I, We're done here mm-hmm. i just let him go and started walking with my friends and he jumped on my back <laughs> thank god on the you know philly's like uh it's like curb yeah grass sidewalk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You we, fell were, in we were on that patch. grass thing thank god because he just like uh the crying <laughs> kid in uh christmas story uh-uh. he's just wailing and and grabbing my hair and like banging my face thank god in the grass you know what i mean and it's just me for what I can only assume was 40 seconds going, okay, it's over. I'm done. Went home embarrassed. <laughs> you don't Told say. them I fought. Uh, didn't get in trouble for that because the cops didn't call. And then, it, But I do remember like the, the less, I've never done that again, like bullied somebody. Uh, at least it was, you know, through school and stuff. Or watch like somebody's hat go in the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Graduation, you're don't just Don't follow fucking... the hat! <laughs> I yell it out when I see other people do it. Don't follow the hat! It's old trick of the book! <laughs> trick is old as time. <laughs> so, um, That's crazy. But uh, I, was, I mean, I the remember, wherewithal I remember, I remember him, going what a school. move. I remember going to school the next day, though, and being... And me and that kid never really became friends or anything. We were fine. But, like, uh, I remember more, like... I just went right back into whatever my resting place was in school by those kids even asking me, like... Dude, that was fucked up. He jumped on your back. Yeah, you gonna fuck him up now? You gonna? I was like, no, it's done, man. <laughs> like I, I went up to that kid. I don't know if I, you heard. I'm over it. I went up to that kid and I was like, that eh, was dumb. I don't really have any issue with you. And fucking, let's just please, like, let's just let, drop that. Because it wasn't even like I was afraid of getting beat up again. He turned around. He jumps on you again. He goes, yeah. He goes, he goes absolutely. <laughs> even Stevens. What's just behind your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Clothesline. Uh, all right, Matt Nelson. We gotta wrap it up. Um, is that an hour? I mean, yeah, it's we well roll. over an hour. I but was hoping. Take a note. <laughs> Big J Part 3. <laughs> Do we have, oh, yeah. we've, we've gotten to like four. We, dude, I we, love it here. I literally <laughs> come here every month, once a month, and do this with Well, let's man. do it. We didn't even get out of the bathroom, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but you a lot of that this. was you told me I'll make it here. A lot of that was very classy. Anybody <laughs> with me on this? Pretty, this was the classy. I'm pretty stuff sure. This. I'm pretty sure he sticks his finger in his asshole. If we're being honest with you, <laughs> we I do stick my finger up my asshole, <laughs> but to clean it. Sure. I and get, then I also I get have, in there heavy. And then I also have one of those four way uh, nail things to make sure there's no dookie on my uh, nails. Oh, the brushes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you using that in the shower? No, no, no as well. not the brushes. The uh, it's like, I think it's like a file and then smooth and buff. Are you whatever. filing your nails? Yeah. Well, you know it's funny. That's got to give what, him some points, right? Well, no, I'll tell you why. It's talking about trash. <laughs> He's move. nuts, dude. Well, I'll tell you about the trash uh, move. I forever, forever bit my nails off. I mean, down to they were nuts. They were crazy looking. You yeah, know, like, hey, that's a so lot of scary. them don't grow right now. You I give have to you have that so vibe because I bit them off. Mm. Essentially, they were they were. It was crazy. Man. And talk about high strung. Yeah. I mean, it was just like a pure. This guy habit. just randomly thinks all he shit himself. <laughs> all the, and then I got the veneers. You can't mm. bite your nails. So this is like the first time in my Why? life in my forties. They'll snap off? Yeah, it's just you shouldn't. Yeah. They're so hard nails that you're not supposed to can't do. Can't put pressure on them like that. Probably. Huh. It's probably the reason the reason I got veneers is because my front two teeth kind of like crossed over a little bit, and I feel like that was because it almost looked like the perfect pocket how I'd bite ah, my nails. Gotcha. 
So like uh, I can't do it anymore. So now for the first time I have nails and I have uh, scratched inside of pussies. I've done all kinds. So I really, I'm like, oh, I have to really take care of these. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> Toby's I don't face. Again, also because I bought them. <laughs> I mean, I, I bought them. I bit them so much. Like it does change that. So my nails, like if they get like a little long, where yours might just look like a long nail, yeah. like, mine starts like coming up almost. Uh-huh. They're, just, like, they're just like not the right shape. Jesus. So I trim them and I file, buff, smooth, shine. What are you doing? With, what are you doing stars. with the toenails? You you you, you just cl- cut them. Clip them with a couple of nails. Yeah. How the hell? How do you have time to do nine podcasts? It's crazy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's just, the fuck? Six well, hours. Pretty much, I'm getting ready for podcasts and do podcasts. It's <laughs> my schedule. You're literally getting ready for a <laughs> wedding. You guys want to play sports? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Big J Okerson. Till next time, baby. A true one and only. Ah, yes. I I do want to share on the cruise. Um, you were the last show of the cruise of the last night, mm-hmm. and we hadn't watched. Uh, I we had you know we hadn't watched any comedy on the cruise, sure. and we were like Jay's fucking closing. The Jay's the last show. We went and watched. I was like, let's go watch five minutes. You know what I mean? You don't really watch sure, comedians sure. that much. Dude, we sat there and watched you for an hour. And it was, oh, hell yeah. It, Dying. it made me, it was like one of the moments I was like, I was pretty fucked up. I'm not going to lie. Sure. And I was like, this is pure happy. I was watching, he was dying, ah, we were dying. Man. You were oh, yeah, killing. Man. Killing. You guys, man. That means and a lot coming for you. It was so fucking, it like reinvigorated me uh, watching comedy. It was fucking fantastic. Controlling was, the room and just fucking sitting back and just fucking murdering. I mean, oh, thank you guys, pulling man. lines out to the point where we're like, dude, we were laying <laughs> yeah, on each other dude. laughing. <laughs> So funny. Yeah. I mean, I love you guys, it was man. so crazy. So cool to see. One of the absolute best. Check out Dog Belly if you haven't checked it over there on mm-hmm. the YouTube page. Listen to Legion of Skanks. Listen to the SDR show. This and has been volume two. Of course, the, <laughs> the bonfire. All right, you're coming back. Change, you change tapes and put in volume three now. <laughs> Our first double CD. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Big J Okerson, everybody. Kippy, uh, what do you got for him? Guys, we're still all over the road closing up the tour. Uh, we have DC coming up. Get those tickets at the Howard yep. Theater. <laughs> I had that other ankle gun. <laughs> this guy came in strapped to the gills. <laughs> Couple of shooters on him. <laughs> oh God, we're uh, <laughs> we have DC coming up. The second show with the Fillmore in Philly is almost sold out. If it's not already, get them tickets. Uh, yeah. We fucking love you, gang. See you next week, gang. Peace. Peace.